What's up, everybody? How you guys doing? Thank you for joining into a brand new video. So, as you can see behind me, I have my 2021 X3 XRS Turbo RR, and uh, I've been seeing a lot of videos, and a lot of people have been asking what I carry on the trail. Chair just made a weird noise, but what I uh, put in this thing and bring out with me on the trail. So, I want to get into that, and then I'm also going to kind of show you some stuff like my storage containers, storage compartments that I use. And um, yeah, so hopefully this is a, a very informative video for anybody who is buying a side by side and is curious as to uh, as to what people bring on the trail. And I think this is the most um, the most stuff you could bring that is practical and it keeps it pretty lightweight. Let's get into it. Let's get it. All right, but before we get into it, uh, you're going to see a stack of stuff there, a stack of stuff there. <clears throat> However, let me just go over really quick the storages, the storage area that I do uh, and use. Oh, I do use a rubber chicken. Yeah, he's my hang around partner. So um, we have a, a Kimimoto center console. Love it. And then we got the Kimimoto door bags as you can see they're empty so uh these are all this is all what i really use for storage and then obviously under the seats we'll get into that momentarily uh the stuff that i didn't want to bring out because it would be bad or it would just be nonsense <laughs> um that i bring with me on the trail is well as you can see so you can turn one of these little lights on here it's actually a pretty cool upgrade <laughs> it's um the belt I have a spare belt right here, and it just hangs above. So, turn that. We gotta turn that off now. Should turn off here soon. There we go. Even though I have a remote for these, but <laughs> uh, yeah. So I carry a belt, obviously, and a spare belt on the trail, and then I have a spare tire, spare tire, and wheel. So that's another thing I carry out, carry with me on the trail. I don't know why I keep saying carry out, but anyways. <clears throat> so. The reason why there's a, a stack here and a stack here is because one side of the machine carries this stuff, one side of the machine carries that. <clears throat> so let's get into it. So one of the first things I use is, or what I bring, is a little miniature shovel because you never know when you're going to just need to dig yourself out of situation or other things, you know? So I carry that and then as well as a little chair little fold-up chair it comes packed nicely so really small and it's quite nice very comfortable and then also um, it's not in my door bag it's actually hanging up but <clears throat> fire extinguisher you never know when a Polaris razor is gonna need one of these I'm just kidding I'm kidding easy now <laughs> but no it's always good to have a fire extinguisher always good and uh, yeah so fire extinguisher and then um, I pulled this piece out. I'm not going to take the whole kit out, but this is a tire plug kit. It comes with a little mini air compressor with comes with little air CO2, 16 ounce tanks and all that. So tire plug kit for in case you, you know, blow out a tire. You all know what that's for. And then this bag didn't come with it, but a little miniature ratchet strap for times where, hey, I've had ratchet or I've had straps break or if you want to like carry firewood back to your camp and you want to make sure it's secure so on your ride home um a little miniature ratchet strap and then uh moving down a little bag of zip ties because you never know when maybe you might bust a piece of plastic off your machine and you just want to zip tie it back on so it doesn't fly off at least until the trip is over so that and then i got some gorilla tape which is almost done which you can tell that i've been using it <laughs> grill tape you'll be amazed on what this can help out with Especially if you like, you know, if you blow a puncture of a hose or something that needs to just be taped up just to get you back, this will do it. And then also other things too. And then the main, the main, the main thing, toilet paper. It's not used. Look at that. It's just dirt from sitting right here. But toilet paper. You can't go wrong with toilet paper. All right. So that's what I carry on the left side of the machine, the passenger side of the machine. And then, so come moving over here. Um... What I stick under the seat on the driver's side is a toe strap. Very big toe strap. This is actually for my truck, but I am going to get a smaller one because uh, I don't need a 50-footer <laughs> for a side-by-side. -side. And then, so I carry that under the seat, and I carry 
just a big bag of tools. I'm not going to open it up, but just a big bag of different size Allen wrenches, sockets, wrenches, uh, uh, screwdrivers, all that jazz, because, you know, you never know who's out on the trail that needs help. So I'm not just thinking for myself. I'm thinking for everybody else. So big bag of tools, Kimimoto. Thank you. It actually was the storage unit for uh, my razor when I had a razor. <laughs> and then um, moving on into the side console, which is going to be, for some reason, a Ziploc bag. And then I bring a fork that I clean it after every rip. After every rip. And you're wondering what that's for. Well, I, I bring cans of sardines with me because they last forever. Nice little snack for if you get stranded. They'll you know keep you uh keep you keep you alive for a while right <laughs> and then so keeping alive and feeling good you got advil which i do replace when it gets expired so we still got another year for that <laughs> so i keep advil with me and then this actually is pretty close to being empty we got some sunscreen and then also under my seats i do carry water doesn't matter if the water bottle is dirty or not it's still water it's water and uh, carry a bunch of these with me, as well as I also bring a cooler as well. And then, so now for the center console, I bring a air compressor because you never know, you never know when you're gonna need an air compressor. I bring a big ass zip tie, big zip tie for you know the heavy duty stuff, you never know. And then for taking off the belt and replacing it, I have a bendy, like, like you could bend the screwdriver and it'll help. Uh, get the uh, clutch covers off so you can replace the belt with the attachment already on there, or the sockets already on there. Beautiful. And then with the help of that, we also have this same device, just not bendy. <laughs> it's not flexible. It'll help. And then this is also a very nice uh, tool, a belt removal tool. Comes, comes in two pieces, and this will help get your belt off really easy really fast and very it's very convenient thank you uncle giving buying that for me that was awesome oh yeah and then uh other than that that's all i really bring out on the trail other than you know like i said um uh yeah all right well it just so happens i'm wearing a side-by-side -side blog shirt it's kind of funny right coincidence but um that is what i bring out on the trail and for anybody who is interested in anything that I have or any parts that I've that you might have seen in the video that you would like um, understanding on, you know, how I like them, stuff like that, or how to install them, well, let me know down in the comments. And uh, yeah, that's what I bring. And then <clears throat> obviously I'll pack my own lunch. I won't just live on sardines, <laughs> but uh, um, I will pack a lunch and bring additional snacks and drinks and stuff like that. But as stuff that just strictly stays in my Can-Am is everything you just seen right there. And uh, yeah, so hopefully that'll help you all out. Um, I don't, I can't see anybody bringing much more. Um, maybe a couple lamps, lights or something. I don't know. Um, but other than that, I think that's pretty much does it for the whole shebang of what you should take out on the trail. And at least that's what I do. Don't listen to me. I'm just... A random guy telling you what I do <laughs> so anyways hopefully this helped you out and if it did let me know down in the comments and uh, if you're interested on anything that I've done to this machine let me know and I'll go do some uh, go over video type things how-to videos and uh, we'll get you squared up so take care ride safe and for my OG subscribers thank you for watching this <laughs> take care everybody and we'll see you the next one